again. As part of our online education success series, in this episode of the Explorations Learning Network, we'll be discussing asking for help. Hi, I'm Avi Anderson, and this is the Explorations Learning Network. If your instructor can't easily provide you with an immediate answer to a question, they may likely say, I don't know, let me find out and get back to you, or they may tell you where to look for the answer. Chances are they're sending you out to find the answer because it's a critical skill that you'll need to learn in order to succeed on your own. They may send you to another website, suggest you watch tutorials, or speak with experts who can deal with your question. This brings us to the people that run the Help Desk. The Help Desk is an important resource in any online education environment. These IT, Information Technology people, are experts at helping you resolve technical problems with your student portal or even in some cases with your computer. Some schools provide students with support that even includes removing viruses or repairing your computer hardware. That's super cool. <laughs> Chances are there's a direct link to the help desk or other contact information on your student portal. Most online help desks operate 24 seven and can provide you with answers to your questions through the facts, FAQs, frequently asked questions, or even give you the opportunity to speak with a live person on the phone or through a chat session. Please remember, you don't ever want to get angry with anyone trying to help you. This is especially true regarding the help desk people. You always want these people on your side. Remember, you can't complete your online class if you can't get online. <laughs> and the number one goal of any help desk person is to make sure you can access your online class. If you have questions and want to find an answer, you might want to ask dun, 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 a librarian. <laughs> yep, even librarians are online. In fact, many schools provide access to online librarians 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How is this possible, you ask? Well, many librarians are part of a national network of Ask an Online Librarian. This network of professional librarians are available 24-7 to answer questions regarding reference and information resource questions. The Ask a Librarian service is provided by the nonprofit organization OCLC, Online Computer Library Center, headquartered in Dublin, Ohio. That's right, I said Ohio, where they provide computer services to more than 52,000 libraries in 96 countries and territories. I want to thank Reference Tech Librarian L from the Ask an Online Librarian service for help in finding that answer. They even send a transcript to you as an email so you can, if necessary, reference it in a paper or other assignment. How freaking cool is that? <laughs> In addition to asking librarians for help with your online classes, you can also request help from tutors. These awesome people are education lifesavers. <laughs> These folks will spend minutes or hours with you, helping you understand how to solve uh, quadratic equations, paraphrase a sentence, balance a chemical equation, format a spreadsheet, or review the steps involved in replacing the disc brakes on your car. Many schools that operate online classes provide tutoring services that give you access to pre-recorded video tutorials and interactive activities on subjects including mathematics and English. But in addition, chances are you can also get access to a live person who can assist you in understanding a specific topic. Remember, 
Tutors aren't there to give you the answers. They want to teach you how to find the answers yourself by making sure you understand the best method to solve the problem. Keep in mind that most colleges and universities provide free tutoring services. <laughs> Thank goodness. However, if you have the cash, you can pay for private tutoring. But before you decide to lay out the dough, check out these free tutoring websites. A new program available through Tutor.com provides free tutoring to all active military personnel, reservists, National Guard, or deployed status civilians and their dependents. Khan Academy provides free video tutoring sessions on many topics and a variety of subjects. The Americans with Disabilities Act ensures that all Americans have access to online classes. If you are vision, hearing, or mobility impaired, you can access online classes by requesting ADA services through your employer, college, or university. If you're not comfortable asking for ADA services, you can purchase adaptive technology through many computer retailers. Adaptive technology appears in many forms, but can be broken down into three different categories, vision support, hearing support, and mobility support. The technology is amazing. <laughs> there are screen reading programs that will actually tell you about everything that's on your screen and will read information from websites, ebooks, and other documents. In addition to screen readers, there are also speech synthesizers and text to speech software. Many standard internet browsers also provide Zoom features for individuals with limited vision. One of the most basic hearing support technologies that has been around for decades is closed captioning. Closed captioning and open captioning allows individuals with hearing impairments to read the dialogue and sounds that occur in videos and audio recordings. Mobility services make it possible for you to operate your computer, tablet, or smartphone with verbal commands or other adaptive technology if you are without the use of hands or fingers or have trouble with the control of fine motor skills. There are many other adaptive technologies available to individuals who need to take an online class. Be sure to request information from your company's Human Resource Department or from the Disability Service Department at your school. Online education access is your right. Sometimes it's not the subject in the class that makes it difficult for people to succeed. Other issues can get in the way. You could be a single parent trying to raise your children. You could have suffered a medical problem, um, financial emergency, or a life event that interrupts your studies. Before you drop the class or simply stop showing up, ask for help. Most colleges and universities, including private training providers, have people available to give you the help that you may need. Academic coaches, counselors, and advisors provide you with the support to meet the demands that may interfere with your success in taking an online class. Coaches can give you tips on arranging your schedule, productive study habits, successful communication skills to work with other students and your instructors, how to communicate with your family, about the importance of school, and even how to prevent your dog from eating your assignment. Counselors can provide assistance with dealing with difficult life issues, even how to cope with anger, frustration, stress, and other similar issues. There are so many people who can help you with your online classes, and best of all, that's what they enjoy doing. Ask for help when you need it. Your instructor, the help desk lady, librarians, tutors, advisors, coaches, and counselors, all these people want to make sure you succeed and are waiting for you to ask for help. The Explorations Learning Network is a production of Clark College and is sponsored through generous donations and the support of students and faculty. Mark Gaither is our producer and director, and this episode was sponsored through a Department of Labor grant administered by the Washington State Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board. 
The Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board is a partnership of labor, business, and government dedicated to helping Washington residents obtain and succeed in family wage jobs while meeting employers' needs for skilled workers. I'm Aviance Anderson for the Explorations Learning Network, advancing learning for the information age.